with you. It'll give you the number. I'm like, 10. I only see no. nine. I'm the 10. Oh, okay. Cool. Morning. No hood. We're about uh, to do the pledge. Do you want to say the pledge? <laughs> you did a great job last week. Look at she's got such she's got such a suntan from her afternoon pool outings. Yeah. And her physical education classes outdoors. Uh, Very nice. I hear the swimming unit is going on right now. <laughs> it's right. We're homeschooling her. So today is Monday, June. Today is not Monday, June 8th. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, and it is a day two. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. It occurs to me, instead of standing, you could just lower your computer, I suppose. <laughs> Are we at? Ready? Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and, us, and justice for all. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Nice. I don't know if you can see her sweatshirt. She's repping Brooklyn, too, by the way. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's Tuesday. Um, we're getting plans together for next week's reverse parade for our eighth graders. They're going to come to school and pick up a T-shirt. A couple of other items. We miss them so much. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'll send out an updated uh, schema for next week's days of the week. We're making a slight adjustment to the days next week. I'll send it out to parents later on this morning or, or Mr. Gleason will do so. Um, yeah. Any other news you think we need to share, Chad? Uh, we have uh, the portal closing on Friday, June 12th for grading, um, and uh, grades will come out uh, approximately two weeks after that. We'll send out an email with that timeline for you. Um, I'm looking at the birthday list today. I don't want to forget anybody's birthday. On June 9th, it is Yemen Her's birthday, Arush Christie's birthday, and Victoria Kruger's birthday. So happy birthday to them. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a quote of the week, and that quote of the week is, as I pull it up on Canvas here, I love that all of our all of our announcements here are, are logged, so you can go on online and see them at any point. Uh, that's right. Go to Donald Gately, my Jericho Apps account. That's that's the sort of stand-in for the school's uh, uh, YouTube account. Go to that YouTube page. I've linked to it on Twitter and you could, on, um, sorry, on Canvas. And uh, Chad, I've been trying actually to send out the links to that every day via Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, smoke screens, Morse code, um, <laughs> any, other, any other venues that I can <laughs> carry. I send them via carrier pigeon, any, any means we can. The quote of the week is, trust yourself, you know more than you think you do. That's by Benjamin Spock. And our theme of the month are reflections and transitions. Janice, if you had, yeah. to, if you had to eat either pizza or you had to give up one item, one food item for the rest of your life, pasta or pizza, which one would you give up? Pasta. You would. Everybody says pasta. Danielle, my wife, has also said, also said that. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, giving up, I'm giving up pizza. Pasta is so versatile. You can have potato gnocchi. You could have linguine. You could have ravioli. There's many different kinds. Pizza is all kind of similar. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough question. It's just pizza is just so elemental and essential. I don't, I don't know. You're right. Pasta comes in so many different varieties. You could have salad pizza, buffalo pizza, big ziti pizza. Oh, you can have big pizza, no pasta. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that enamored with all the varieties of pizza, but I, I just like straight up round or, or, or Sicilian. Yeah, this thick one. <laughs> all right, guys, let's make this the best uh, Tuesday of the week. That's right. Have a great day, Jay Bye, everybody.